NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. From downtown Milwaukee, tonight, it's the hometown Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Opening tip won by the Bucks as we get going at beautiful new Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. DeAndre Jordan sends it away. Brooklyn with the basketball. Nice to get things going. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Bledsoe with the basketball. They trail by two. To the rim, lays it up and in. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Where do you live now? Brooklyn. Of course, I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But Brooklyn is a completely different place. Only five minutes outside Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, a good place to be. Adetokounmpo to Gortat. DeAndre Jordan rejects it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Oh, bad pass, and the Bucks have it. No good. Defense catching a break there. Nothing going here on that drive. To Hollis Jefferson. Gets toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Add two points to the board. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I think he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To Jordan. the three. He made his first effort, but not that time. Leto with it up top. They're down three. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Two for two. That's what you want. I know these mishaps happen defensively, but sometimes this can be the best thing for an offensive player who hasn't found his rhythm yet. Don't let him get going. Jamal Murray. Textbook defense. Bledsoe with the basketball. Down by one. And the defender over pursues. And he's called for it. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. The drive, right to the basket. Now ready to shoot at the line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximum effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. First try at the line, no good. After missing that first one. Nets have the ball. Jefferson. Types of shots you always strive for. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. Giannis with it up top. Down just a couple. It's a big finish. It's easy to become mesmerized when you're who can we call when you allow that much space, that's prob city. To Jordan. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Giannis in control of the basketball. Down two. Short jumper off the mark. 
to Hollis Jefferson. Slam dunk for Hollis Jefferson. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Giannis on Dedekunbo. Looking good. Four for five. You see, you can't really get messed. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. 4-3. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Giannis with it up top. He'll run the offense. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. And a throw to Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Here's a chance from long range. A ah, scary sight. DeAndre Jordan with the putback slam. That's the DJ we all know and love. Mm. Giannis in control of the basketball. Offense inside the slam dunk. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Karis LeVert is going to get three shots here. 71% for his career. First, good. Missed the middle one. Coming. He knocks down that free throw. Let's go with it up top. They trail by one. Oh, they call the foul. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number four. Driving right to the basket. Stuffs it down with authority. In his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. To Hollis Jefferson. Count the basket at the rim. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Giannis with it up top. Down a point. A cash in. He connects. Had all the time in the world. Too easy. These breakdowns happen because a team lacks communication. You have to point towards your man, keep that butt towards the baseline, and make sure you communicate through every screen. Fires the three. So with the basketball, leads one to Adeta Kunbo. Bledsoe. The drive, right to the basket. Shot from in close, no good. The it's because he took his eye off his target, Ed. As an offensive player, you have to glare at where the defender's coming to, but quickly redirect yourself to your actual target. He was more consumed with the defender than he was the actual rim. Eric Bledsoe. First couple didn't go. That one is true. No doubt about where that one was headed. Nets have it. To Jordan. Giannis in control of the basketball. His team up by one. And scores. Strong take. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. To Jordan. Down with the oh man, supposed to be able to do that, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. To DiVincenzo, driving right to the basket, he takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. There you go. I like seeing a scoring likely sources. 
Murray into the front court. Down three. Beyond the arc for three. Not getting the bounce. Oh, a whistle. Timing was just a tad bit off. And he connects on the first free throw. Able to convert on both free throws. To Danny Green for three. Long Island zone. Danny Green with the three. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Going to launch beyond the arc. Not that time. He misses. The f is you easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs wondering where the foul was every time. Giannis with it up top. The lead is two. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a good offensive player. No mucks there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Giannis Adetokounmpo, 3.75% tonight. Free throw. Good for Giannis. It's a three-point play as the Bucks add to their lead. Burke with it. Five-point game. From long range. Well, he missed his first three shots, but he gets that one to go down, and it's a three. Well, when you fall down, you always get back up. That's the mindset of good shooters. Oh, emphatic slam. Jay, the scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. Bucks basketball. DeAndre Jordan with the block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. To Danny Green. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and Gibson grabs the rebound. Hill can't connect to Jordan. Danny Green lets it fly from long range, rebounded by Miritich. To Hill. Two minutes left in the first quarter. He was hacked. They let it go. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy work. Short jumper won't go down. Burke with it. Leads just a point. Draw and Jordan will go to the line to shoot two. It's still early, so no real impact on that call. But you know that they're going to call this one tight, so you might want to keep your hands out of his pocket. DeAndre Jordan at the line. Go. Oh, he missed on a pair. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Shot won't go. 
Knocked loose. Terrific hustle. Ball stays in play. The Bucks at the controls. DiVincenzo. I'm talking about Ed, it's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. The assist from number nine. Burke with it. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. He should get some kind of acting award. It's a great offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Ennis Cantor trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career 77% at the line. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. To Adeta Kumbo. Hey, double three. DiVincenzo to Adeta Kumbo. Baseline drive. Gets to the basket, but it's no good. To Danny Green. Trey Burke buries it on the catch and shoot. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Man. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, and he buries it. That's it for the first quarter, with the Nets in front. Second corner about to start. Jay, this has felt like a game of horse. It was shot for shot in the opening period. The pace of this game has been prolific. As a fan, I love to watch. As a coach, I would be pulling my hair out. These players would drive me crazy. I need to see some defense, please. I don't want to ask this question. What hair? Why would you ask it then if you don't want to ask? Just go in there. Okay. Well, you would. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Giannis Adetokounmpo at the line for a chance at a three-point play, shooting 80% in this contest. Free throw good as he finishes off the three-point play. They're back within a bucket. It's Brooklyn's ball. Count the bucket for two. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. And it down. He's ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Fires the three. Danny Green can't get that one to go. Defense all over him to George Hill. 4-3. George Hill, not sure why he was so wide open, buries the three. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. When they're backing back on defense before the ball even goes through them, that speaks for itself. Here's a chance from long range, smothering D. And they call it. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Substitution being made in this one. Number 27, Jamal Murray. And number 24, Giannis for two. Not that time. 
Murray with the basketball. Down by one. Fires the three. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really, none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Yes, Wesley Matthews. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Again, Ed, if you made it level, you're capable of doing things that normal humans can never do, even if you're not known for it. Hill into the front court. Looking to make something happen to Luke Kennard. Ideta Kumbo. Hill. No good. Nothing going here on that drive. Trey Burke. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. To Ideta Kumbo. Great feed. Sets it up. Cashes in for two. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Can't connect from in close. Hill across the timeline. Leads a bucket. Spins and scores. We got to tell our producer in the truck, you got to tag that highlight. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Luke Kennard. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Deep left corner. Middleton cashes in. Someone has to get into a zip code. It's plain and it's simple. The difference between a, and a losing organization, their ability to finish plays. You have to find a way defensively to finish these type of plays to win this game. Perfect feed to set up the basket. And the defense keeps sticking to those flare screens. Just don't flare out to the three-point line. Flare to the rim for a while. Slams it down. It's so amazing to get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left. He can go right. He can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Ariza with a shot. No good. Bledsoe with it up top. Up by six. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Murray into the front court. He'll run the offense. Cleans it up. Nikola Mirotic pins it. Smith, huge block. And that's light work for a guy with his ability. To Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe, two or four now. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. To Hollis Jefferson. For three. Misfires. It's no good. Matthews picked up by Ariza. To Adeta Kumbo. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I see. land they weren't really committed to getting out of the way committing a hard foul or taking the brunt of the contact trying to three point play he's been steady 83 percent at the line unable to connect on the free throw 
with it. Down a dozen. The screen sets him up for two. No, oh, don't see the read. Be the read. Giannis in control of the basketball. His team leads it by 10. Has a look. Shot misses there for Adetokounmpo. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Marcin Gortat at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 67%. Free throw up and good as they open things up to a 13-point lead. Shot, to Jordan. My ball, my ball. Yes! Foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Dennis Cantor trying to cash in on the three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. As he finishes off the three-point play, that shaves the deficit down to 10. Nothing going here on that drive. DeAndre Jordan able to recover the block. Wide open, won't go. You see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute... And it's Cantor, three for three in this first half. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt, or you'll be left behind. Middleton to Adetokounmpo. Going to drive. Bledsoe to Middleton. Five on the shot clock for Milwaukee. Has a chance. Shot for Hill won't go. A shot, no good by Green. Giannis with it up top. It's an eight-point lead. Backcourt. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. to Cantor above the rim. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Bucks at the controls. Here comes the screen. Surveys the floor. Great pass to set it up. Lays it up and in. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. To Jordan. Cantor. Shot clock winding down. Levert with a shot, no good. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot. But there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Bledsoe to Middleton. Giannis shoots. Deep two there, won't go.
to Cantor. Trying to cash. And it's Cantor. Can't ask for much more. He's perfect. Five for five from the field. You feel that? Confidence building. Adetokounmpo to Gortat. And draws the foul. Now here's your chance to make them pay for making you the target of hacking. Well, actually, your free throw shooting made you a target. But you can still fix that. Can't connect on the first free throw. the mark. 0 for 2 at the line. The follow won't go either. From the outside, no good. Hill into the front. Up 6. Adetokounmpo to Gortat. The drive to the basket. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. To Jordan. Almost unlucky bounce. Adetokounmpo to Middleton. Eric Bledsoe. Three for six now. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to the bigs. The harder the bigs were running to the harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Set things up. Great job that shoulder to create con fender without hesitation to a dead akumbo in the nice finish at the rim this type of game needs to be celebrated this is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players when you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great between winning and losing smiling when you see them giving each other high fives that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Bledsoe to Adetokounmpo. Middleton to Adetokounmpo. Now, big finish. Full head of steam that time. And I love when people are saying, well, he's not a player. I don't need to be fundamentally sound. Marching Gortat sends it away. Knocked loose. And that one out of bounds off a of buck. So the Nets hold on to the possession. New blood coming in for both sides. Number 11, Enos Cantor. Subbing in for the Bucks. Number 55. To Cantor. Can't connect. Bledsoe with the basketball. His team on top by eight. To Hill. The Bucks shoot inside. He gets it. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. And destroy him. That's what DeAndre Jordan does. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. First half in the books. The Bucks with the lead.
one is Jalen Rose. And I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bucks will start the second half with a narrow lead. They decided to make a statement in the opening half. And they did it by throwing down dunk after dunk after dunk. I think the rim is still shaking. Have a look at the leading scores for the Milwaukee Bucks. Have a look at the leading scores for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Bench points. What I found interesting about that half of basketball is how the momentum stayed high even when the substitution started coming into the game. These guys coming off the bench, from both benches actually, are doing a great job of making positive contributions. Player of the half. Ate Takumpo really showed off his court vision in the first half. When he's able to get the ball moving like that, his team can be tough to stop. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of the guys. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Murray into the front court. His club staring up at an eight point deficit. Bucks take down the board. Giannis in control of the basketball. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. go down and Ed that's what you see to capitalize on the momentum gained from getting a multitude of stops defensively Milwaukee with the basketball to a dead Akumbo DiVincenzo to shoot to DiVincenzo for three they were ready for DiVincenzo on that three Murray with the basketball the deficit is six to Hollis Jefferson won't go down defenders lucky he wasn't called Middleton to Enzo the assist players out there like the freedom of space and then we have the anomalies we have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time gets it in the right corner Brooklyn with four to shoot going to launch beyond the arc rebound pulled down by Giannis So, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Murray into the front court. His guys trail by 10. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. 
you forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short on the shot. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. John Wall or Rook. So why is he getting a free pass down the entire length of the floor? Deep corner. From long range. Off the mark. Bledsoe shot misses. Follow. Way to stay with it. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. To Jordan. Not that time. Bledsoe to Adeta Kumbo. To Bledsoe. Goes to the right side. Bledsoe. Giannis for two. Not that this is off it. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Has a look. Won't go. He needs some luck on his side, given how they're defending. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Goes to the left side. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Nice pass to set things up. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Marching Gortat at the line for a chance at a three-point play. He struggled so far. Oh, he can't connect. Knocks it down from mid-range. rock a -bye, baby. Oh, yeah, he rocked him to sleep on that one. Bucks at the controls. Adetokounmpo to Bledsoe. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Giannis Adetokounmpo trying to cash in on the three-point play. He's shooting 71% so far. Whoops, that won't go. To Danny Green. The Nets now with four to shoot. Gets a look, can't hit. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what if Seaton finishes a shooter, but the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Murray with it. Down a bundle to Danny Green. Bledsoe with it up top. He'll run the offense. And the basket good at the rim. I love when I see smaller players finish in the paint amongst the trees. But if you're a big on the other side, you can't let that happen so easy. To Jordan. 
and he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. DeAndre Jordan at the line for two shots. He struggled so far. And hits the first free throw. second it's a one of two trip out of bounds last touch by Eric Bledsoe the opposing coach is going to counter make some changes of his own number 11 Enos Cantor gets it in the left corner To Hollis Jefferson. Slam dunk. Hollis Jefferson. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. Bucks basketball. To Adetokounmpo. Here comes the screen. Adetokounmpo. Nothing here on that drive. To Middleton. Adetokounmpo. Middleton. Prince there for the rebound. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Jamal Murray. Now that's a contest. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Are utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. To DiVincenzo. Oh, nice find for the basket. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. The Nets now with four to shoot. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, taken down by Giannis. To Bledsoe. To Adetokounmpo. Middleton buries it on the catch and shoot. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Berg shot off the mark. Bledsoe with the basketball. His guys holding the big lead. To Adetokounmpo. Yes, Marcin Gortat. With that, he's five for nine. You hear coaches talk all the time about passing the ball on time and on target. As a passer myself, if I can deliver the ball to you in a position where I can but just go up and make the play easy, that's Like both teams are making substitutions. Stepping in for the Milwaukee Bucks, number 55, Nikola Mirotic. No.
they'll get it down to green. Shot from the lane, won't go. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was, so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. Eric Bledsoe at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 79% at the line. He throws off the mark. Burke with it. His guys down big. Danny Green. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Shot off the mark. Kennard. To Adeta Kumbo. I got him. Here we go. Great feed. Gore top rocking the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this. Yes, when this guy's open, look out. Nearly automatic. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. A oh, pass stolen by the net. Bucks have the rebound. Bledsoe with it up top. His guys hold the standing lead. To Adeta Kumbo. Terrific vision. Goes reverse to lay it in. Big shout out to the athletic trainer for this team. It's obvious you've been doing all the preparation required of your team in the weight room in the offseason. Flex on them a little bit. To Danny Green. Driving right to the basket. Split the D there, but he can't get it to drop. To Adeta Kumbo. Kunard to Adeta Kumbo. Deep left corner. Bledsoe. Wide open look. Won't go. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. To Cantor. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Adeta Kumbo. Nice pass to set things up. From the painted area, won't go down. Because he had no body control. You have to be able to control your body when you attack the rim. That's part of your concentration. People assume concentration just on the rim, but your body control is everything. Be able to speed yourself up or slow yourself down. Third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter on the way. The Bucks in command of this one. Bucks to inbound to start this final quarter and they have done no wrong to this point they have this game well in control they took control early and they never let up the scary thing about this team if they keep their foot on the gas and then throttle it down they can win this game by 50. to luke Kennard lets it fly from long range that's off the side of the rim no good murray into the front court looking to make something happen yes it drops little drama on that one 
Here's a tip for your defense. You can't give him that much space. You have to push up into his personal space and make him play the majority of the possessions with his back to the basket. Because if you allow him to open up, there's no stopping. Ideta Kunbo to Middleton. Double team, double team, double team. I'm here, I'm here. Doesn't have the touch. No good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Slams it down. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Kunard to Adeta Kunbo. Big slam. Oh, he looked like he was on a mission. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line and change the narrative. Because right now, the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Though. Me neither. Oh. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Ideta Kunbo to Bledsoe. To Ideta Kunbo. Bledsoe. The rebound cleared by the Nets. Short jumper won't go down. We call some of these players practice players. You know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice, but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten. That's exactly what you want him to do. You want him to take those kind of shots. Brooklyn with the basketball. Defense, let's go. Short jumper won't fall. To Bledsoe. Middleton. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. I don't mind that effort at all. At least they're still out here come defensive end. Giannis Adeta Kumbo. Couple of free throws on the way. Shooting 62% in this one. Misses the first. Miss the second, 0 for 2. To Danny Green. Fires the three. And Meritich the rebound. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. And Wesley Matthews. Hesitation from a pure shooter. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Goes to the right side. 4-3. That's off the side of the rim. Short. To Adeta Kumbo. Oh, ferocious slam inside. You know, it reminds me of a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Scores from the post. Mm, I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. To DiVincenzo. the assist you normally don't see that but that's the type of thing that is in the league for a long time every once in a while enter into the paint to Hollis Jefferson count it because in certain players mind it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not they're always going to be the giant in the paint 
Giannis with it up top. He'll run the offense to Matthews. Stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. The Bucks clear the rebound. I got ball. I got ball. Uh, doesn't get the bounce. Burke with it. Down a bundle to Hollis Jefferson. Hey, box down. Gets a shot up. The up. to DiVincenzo. Adeta Kunbo. Absolutely very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. We have both now. Substitutions, Brooklyn. Drive from the baseline, but it won't go down. To a blood show. Brooklyn secures the rebound. Nets have the basketball. Sizing up the defense to Hollis Jefferson. No good. Right to the back. The shot rattles around and out. It goes down. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Bledsoe with the basketball. His guys holding the big lead. Here comes the screen. Ideta Kunbo. Whoa! What a finish! At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. The chance. Levert with a shot, no good. Bucks at the controls. To Adeta Kumbo. And count the basket inside. Not always the first option, but his number was definitely called on that. Here comes the screen. Stuffs it down with authority. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen.
shot off the mark. The contest was good. Being distance was great. Continuing to be that knack. Stuffs you down with authority. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Now the Nets going to take a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Changes now for both clubs. Number 27, Jamal Murray. Into the game for the Milwaukee Bucks. Number two, Wesley Matthews. And count the basket. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here. What an easy look. Ideta Kunbo to Gortat. Oh, he had it. Sets it up and slams it down. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Giannis in control of the basketball. His guys hold a commanding lead. To Matt. Ideta Kunbo. Matthews. It's Jordan there for the rebound. To Hollis Jefferson. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Milwaukee with the basket. Bledsoe to Adeta Kumbo. Short top rocking the rim. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Murray with the basketball. His guys down. Here comes the screen. Here's a chance from long range. Giannis grabs the board. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, stuffs it down with authority. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one on one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get down. Everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Nothing going. Gets a look. Can't hit. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket. You're going to lower it. Deep three at the buzzer. The Bucks claim victory as they win this one in blowout fashion. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone.
Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Bucks got the win with a comfortable scoring margin. They did plenty of great things, but we all know what's going to be remembered are the dunks. And you know what? I'm going to remember nothing but the dunks as well. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Milwaukee Bucks. It wasn't surprising to see this team on the losing end of this matchup. They weren't very good with their execution, and they suffered for it. Check out the leading scores for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Points in the paint. The Brooklyn Nets were simply unable to avoid being soft on defense when the ball went inside the paint. Why they couldn't rotate properly, I don't know. They simply got outworked in this matchup. Their interior defense struggled most in the half. Player of the game. about a guy like this except for this segment he was definitely cold in this game we had picked them for you here are the top plays number two These are the upcoming games for the Milwaukee Bucks. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.